ATS, the Millionaire Theology Council Seminar. Uh, this is why I prepared a short uh, note here that I thought I would faithfully follow the instruction uh, given to me. <coughs> I'm sorry I haven't prepared a PowerPoint presentation, but I'll try my best to make a point, and I hope it will generate some power. Actually, it is about the Lord's Word. It is not my report. It is the Lord's report that I'm going to share to you. But first of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Pastor Sam Bustamante, my wife, Julie. Uh, she's here. And uh, she is my director. She is... Uh, <laughs> and I am the academic dean at Koinonia Theological Seminary. So she is my boss. And uh, I think I'm, I'm obedient <laughs> and faithful to his directions, to her directions. <laughs> Actually, before we get to Davao in 2009, God was already working ahead in the year 2002 when I successfully defended my thesis, teach and thesis, um, at uh, ABS, Alliance Bible Seminar. And after my defense, uh, Dr. Tano, I always remember him because I want really to connect the, uh, the journey of my life, our life, uh, with my wife. Uh, after my defense, he told me something. Where are you going to work after your defense? I told him, I said, I'll go back to our Bible college and teach again. And he said, no, you go to Davao and help Davao. I didn't mind it. I, I thought it was just a joke. But as I look back after six years or seven years, I think, I remember what he said. And I think that, and I think that was a prophetic word. And God was already working ahead of us, preparing the above for us, and to work in the above. <clears throat> um, during the time, like Mary, I kept and I treasured these words which He told us, and I only found the meaning of those words after we found ourselves in the above working and helping BTS. <clears throat> God began opening the door, actually that tended to keep us in a limited space. Uh, I remember Dr. Taylor's words uh, that God opens doors for us. And sometimes God breaks doors when those doors will keep us and would not allow us to go out and be used um, for the greater work of God. And I call that the doors of denominationalism. Sometimes our denominations love us so much that they don't even want us to preach to other churches. That's how they love us. And I think God does not want that kind of affection. And God will surely break that door and uh, allow you to go out. I know. There are many people who are hurt when we get out from our denomination. But uh, they have accused us. But I think our highest loyalty should not be in our denomination, but to God. If our denomination will keep us in serving God in the fullness, I think we have to, to turn our eyes to Jesus and say, Lord, I want to serve you. I started as a teacher at PTS, and then they assigned me to be the Dean of Students, and then give me again another task, uh, Master of the Divinity Coordinator, and now I am the Academic Dean. So, uh, if, you, if you want to know, PTS is very school, school. but uh, we had many dreams. Uh, uh, we thank God for our board. The board is really working with us. Uh, their hearts are really for the work of the Lord, and they they really give their hearts in working together 
in order to push the work of God in the vow. <clears throat> Dr. Julie uh, joined me at KTS in 2009 after a one year stay in Cebu. Kaya nauna ako noon sa Cebu. Uh, I stayed in Davao, first of all. I worked with uh, uh, some of the faculty in Davao. And after one year, she joined me at KTS. But I always remember, and we always remember, we did not actually apply or our volunteer at KTS. And I could, uh, I would like to mention one of our commissioner uh, was instrumental in bringing us to KTS, and that is uh, Dr. Chu Yang. And when he, as he said, one time uh, we we accidentally is that accidental? Uh, it, that, that was providential that we saw its other at KTS and she told I think she was the one who told uh, our director oh you get some of Julie uh, so the, those simple words uh, were instrumental in bringing us to KTS and now we are serving at KTS we offer a graduate program and also we have the certificate program, we call that KLI, Koinonia Leadership Institute. And this program serves the lay people, not only in Davao, but even outside Davao. And in fact, we are reaching the indigenous people beyond Davao City. And uh, at present, I am teaching the, a group of pastors and lay people. Mga manubos nito sila, mga uh, uh, lumad, they call it lumad, right? So, you may ask, paano mo sila tinuturuan, Pastor? Uh, it's really a challenge because uh, being, uh, having studied in, in, in a very high standard of teaching, I have really to go down. And I have to translate my lesson into Cebuano and a very simple Cebuano. Because your students are grade one, grade two, mga pastor sila sa mga sa mga kapatid natin na mga nitibo sa sa Davao. So it's really a challenge. And there God was also working and always remind me that it is not it is not our smartness that really matters. It is our heart that is given to these people in order that they will know deeper the Word of God in their lives. And uh, we praise God for this uh, missionary doors that God is opening in Mindanao. And actually, I am not only involved in this program, but also in other training programs uh, when when many of our students learn that PTS is opening some some trainings, they also asked us to conduct training sa kanilang mga churches, even their denomination. Just a simple training. Training their pastors have not gone to formal studies in Bible school. They just want to, they want that their pastor will, will have an in-depth study of the Word of God so that they can share the Word of God better to other people. So, this is actually a movement or a kind of spirit in Mindanao, particularly in Davao, that many people, church people, are interested in training. And we need actually more trainers in Davao. That's why we transmit this you know, this challenge to our students, our graduates at KTS, that uh, we will soon have them as, as our companions in training these people. We could not actually handle all this work. Kasi tatlo lang kami na full time sa, sa Koinonia Theological Seminary. And some of our faculty are part-time faculty. That's why this is also our concern and we wish you would also bring this to your prayer so that God will prepare more people uh, to be part of this ministry in 
Mindanao. I'm also holding a church in Tagum. Uh, during weekends, I go to Tagum. Uh, my partner is my sister. She she do the task in the church full time during the week, and I go there to to preach. And at the same time, I open myself to preaching to other churches. And uh, and it's really my enjoyment uh, to really serve the Lord. But I'm always reminded that. Uh, it's not uh, how many things you are doing that matters, but it is your heart uh, for the Lord. Sometimes uh, we tend to forget our families, and uh, we always ask God to forgive us, right? Uh, and uh, I'm happy that uh, we are a part of the GM missionary missionary group. And uh, we find a family that really is uh, given to, to serving the Lord. Um, uh, good news to some pastors for Mindanao, in Mindanao particularly, sa lahat ng mga pastors, if you have some people you want to be trained at PTS, uh, please bring them to PTS. We have scholarship, marami tayong scholarship na binibigay, and uh, we hope you challenge your people and we pray that KTS will be a part of that training in preparing your people for the ministry. And also, we want to, to convey our project and plans for KTS. We are looking forward to God's direction uh, and also His provision and timing. Uh, we hope to relocate the school, relocate or bring it up, build a higher building. So, dalawa ang plano namin to accommodate a greater number of students and also have a better library and also perhaps accommodate some of our faculty members and some foreign students. And we also pray and hoping to offer a doctorate program and uh, because there are many who are asking for my doctorate program at Ayo. So uh, we hope that God will accomplish this in the right time. <clears throat> now, to close this, I would like to, to say that uh, in this experience, uh, in the missionary work, uh, it's also a learning time for us, it's a growing time for us, uh, with my wife and with my family. And one thing that we always, that always reminds us of that obedience is the secret for all of this. Praise God.